we've done some renovations to the crib, right? Let me show you inside the room. There was some fire damage that happened. Hey, Dude, I'm watching, I'm watching. hey get a look closer. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> And so I had to replace my bean bags here. Of course, we got that right there. I'm, I want to get some new curtains, but they quoted me at seven thousand dollars. I'd rather cut off all my limbs than pay that amount to stop the sun from coming in. Most of the time they're open anyway. The only time I close it is when I want to control lighting for my stream or something like that. But yeah, this is the beginning of the room. We got the big ass AEP logo, and then I see my camera closet with all the essentials. And so Joe's sitting there. They're... Really? Is yeah. it that relevant? Yeah. I feel like I go through this and nobody gives a. But it's my camera. Who the f did that? I don't even know. You did that, right? No, I would never. <laughs> this nigga killer. Come on, bro. T.O. <laughs> that is such a crazy way to place a camera. But we got my rig right here that we use for most of the main shoots. It's pretty simple for the most part, just a handle. And then just in case we need different attachments, we have plenty of different options here. Uh, we have all my camera batteries. We have all my bodies and lenses here. We have all the batteries for, you know, just in case we need monitors, uh, just anything that might need power. This is a universal battery right here. Uh, aside from that, we got some lapel systems over here, uh, transmission system. You guys see us use this on streams and things of that nature when we walk around the house. That's how we do it. Um, but yeah, all my essentials are here. Stuff that I use on a day to day is in here. The rest of the stuff I have actually in the cut. Guys, Caleb wants me to talk about the mini fridge. Yeah. It's super special, right? It refrigerates your beverages and your Ooh, food. Nice. Caleb, was that enough talk? Yeah. Thank God. All right, so this is my streaming setup, man. Hey, man, if you guys watch me on Twitch at Agent Zero, man, link is in the description. Then you guys know what my setup looks like. This is what it looks like from my side. We removed the TV from there. I have to fill that with something, but it has my internet wires coming through. But I'll get a contractor to come in and fix that. We got some Ethiopian decorations and stuff on the wall, some posters and stuff. It usually looks pretty lit and beautiful at the nighttime when I have a little bit more control over lighting. But during the day, I usually just kind of open the doors and like just to hear the sound of the fucking water. Hold on, come here. Just to hear the sound of the water is such a vibe. It's so zen. And I play lo-fi beats in the background. It's so zen. We'll leave it open for now. Uh, it's beautiful temperature in Atlanta today. Uh, but aside from that, there's my little utility desk. Anytime I need something urgent on stream, I put it on. Okay, right now there's a gun, so blur that out. <laughs> if there's something important, I usually leave it right there. Um, and then I'll get to it like during the stream so I can easily reach over and grab things that I need. Here's my setup right here. This is the infamous $10,000 PC. Y'all keep memeing every time it gets fried. My setup is pretty unique, but it's very simple. I wanted things to just be customizable. So if I'm over here talking, my mic is over here, I can pull it low, I can pull it to the side. I need to be able to move things around. The same applies to my cameras. I can move it right, left, up, down, zoom, not, and everything is like, what's the word Ikea uses when you can just add attachments? Accessible. Nah, that's not it. Modular. modular. Mm. Jake's the smart one. Yeah, everything is modular. If I need to add something, I just switch over like a different attachment and then boom, it's completely different. So I'll have my OBS on this screen. I usually have music and stuff like that. And if I have this like a sponsor stream, I'll have my points, talking points over here. And this is the main monitor that I talk on. Just generic three point lighting, right? One, two, three. And then my spotlight is kind of what gives the room color. Um, so like today we're going with purple for the stream. But it's pretty simple. We got some speakers when I want to blast music. We got the headphones from when I want to listen on my shit. But it's all pretty generic stuff. Um, and I don't want to complicate it any more than it has to. I'm rolling with simplicity. I know that sounds crazy given like everything you're looking at. But this is like as simple and high quality as I can make things. I hate complicating things because it just it slows me down. It bogs me down. But come this way. The last time y'all seen in here, my bed was right here, actually. And now it feels like an actual bathroom. So I have some tech and lights and shit like that on the sides over here. Don't mind those. But um, we finally moved the bed out of here. And we're going to show you in a second where we moved it to. But uh, damn, there's so much shit here. Damn. That's, I don't even know what we're doing with that just yet. Um, yeah, this is, this is like when you want to get ready and look spiffy, man. You got a big ass mirror to do just that. Obviously, we got the shower here on this side. Uh, I love the shower here, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's I actually fire. I, I ain't gonna lie. Showering anywhere but here because this has just spoiled me, bro. It's fucking marvelous. Over here. <laughs> Damn, I might be a hole in the wall. Um, the whole fucking mirror just shook. Dead ass? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was gonna fall. <laughs> hey, we got the toilet. We got the bidet in case you need to get your ass wet. And then over here, man, we got yep. another toilet just in case that toilet was busy and you can use this toilet. And then more importantly, last time y'all seen this area, it was two closets. So there was a wall right here 
and this was one walk-in closet and that was another walk-in closet since then we actually demolished the wall that ran across here we put the supports for that in the attic which you could recover over here and um we just created this into a closet so they put up a wall over here and all my equipment and shit come here come here so all the equipment i need is my box and stuff different props clothes just boom because i don't have that much clothes there's not enough clothes for me to have like two walk-in closets just felt empty as fuck like i could fill it with random shit like fedoras i never wear anymore because agent beam star passed away but aside from that like this, this is like where the equipment that i barely use this is where it comes to so like you know <laughs> this is the most craziest crossword. so like you know just like old audio mixes and shit this one is such this is my biggest <clears throat> regret of a purchase it's like 1200 dollars and it, it only works on max it, it fucking sucks on windows it was I, i've never been more upset about a purchase in my life i actually for some reason have all my play buttons stored away right here too we should find another location for them. But <laughs> I just put them back there. I didn't, I didn't know where you wanted them. Well, yeah, you never got, hang them up. We got my little scullies and my hats and shit like that right there, man. But So the stuff that I use less frequently, I can just put in here. But the stuff I use more frequently, I'd rather have it easily like accessible. But more importantly, man, we finally got the big-ass fucking curved 75. Remember when niggas gave a fuck about curved TVs? Mm -hmm. But that shit fell off a map. For real. A fucking cliff. But yeah. I'm still stuck with one. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I'm too Look, this TV has to break to convince myself to get a new one, even though I really want an OLED. Uh, I brought my speaker system here, so this is where I watch my movies and shit now, or play music. And then most importantly, man, we got the fucking bed. Oh, I love my low-profile beds, man. Close to the floor, we got the king-size mattress and all that. It's the same setup that I have at the other house. It's the same bed frame. It's the same mattress. I love it. Um, I don't know why we put some clothes, like, over here, hung up. Um... Because I don't wear most of the shit. This is the stuff you've seen in some of the videos where Rage and Bruce and Kai and them were... Not, not Rage yet. Not Rage yet. Well, let's see if that happens. Yeah. Uh, but well, everybody was styling me, so this is the shit that we bought. So I have it right here. I guess to separate the designer from all the common garments that some of y'all niggas be wearing. You feel me? Mm. Um, yeah, you could talk different when you got bathed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me stop. Yeah. Let me, yeah. Let me, let me hey, calm out. down, bro. Let me chill calm out. Calm down. My ego is taking over. For real. Nah, but, um, yeah, my room looks entirely different now. So, previously, bro, it's crazy how much changed. Come here. Look, when I first moved into their house, in my head, I thought, like, I'm probably going to put my bed in this room. But everybody came in my, damn, everybody came in my streaming room and was like, yo, agent, yo, do not put your bed in here. Put your bed somewhere else. And so I started coming up with, like, yo, where should I put my fucking bed? It was cool to have it here, but it would get in the way of, like, everything else you'd want to do on stream and just having that space. But luckily, I was able to come up with a solution that wasn't, like, incredibly expensive. And um, now I have, like, so much separation from the rest of the house. Because, like, if Kai's blasting music or Chris is streaming right underneath me, I could just, like, run away to that side of the house. And I'll find some, like, peace and quiet. Just play some lo-fi beats and some Beethoven and, and some brain food. And, uh... Just keep the camera on for evidence. Yeah. Let me know how y'all feeling about the room. I actually, the guys kind of all walked in here. I forgot that, like, I made some changes to the house, and, like, people walked in the room, and they're like, yo, what the fuck? And so, I, here's a clip. I showed Kai and Davis the room for the first time. Now I'm so mad. All right, man. We got Davis second live. I'm so mad you weren't in LA with me yesterday. This is literally, like, all these. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Nigga! I hate this guy, man. There's no way you don't sit on top when of When he jerks off. Butt, bro. I don't believe you. Yeah. When he jerks off. Right there, yeah. <gasps> yes, he's in the steps. How fast is it like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga has instant access to the you fucking him out. parkway. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass. He's so fucking dumb. What a dummy. He's so stupid. Let's leave, let's leave. Hey, he's dumb as hell, let's man. Not, hey. Is he drinking off? Yo, whoa. yo, bro. Yo, bro. Hey, he put his head in his pants. Hey, that was weird. Oh, didn't touch me with I got you, you That's OD. This, is this should give me inspiration to do some shit. No, me too. Me too. I got a lot of room I can work with. <laughs> is he laughing at him? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead laughing at my room for <laughs> I, everyone else also walked in, but I just didn't think to record. But anyway, they all did, had the same exact reaction. Like, damn! So, <laughs> I'll take it. But anyway, I'm getting ready for a stream, man. Pull up to the Twitch, man. Link is top of the description. Nigga, you don't have to. Or click this video right here. All right?